As with any financial program, we need to know about income, expenses, and then have a look at the reports. So if we go to regular income, as you can see, this couple have 46,000 in income and 30,000 in income. They have different types of income for which the program allows. We go to expenses, it covers their primary property. It also covers their debts. In this case, they have a car loan, two credit cards and two personal loans. They have a total debt of 53,000 on which they're going to be paying 17,000 interest over a period of 98 months for a total of 70,400. We'll have a look at all of the regular expenses, such as utilities, transport, food, education, medical, personal, and any others that may be in there. These are all calculated on a monthly basis. And in this particular case, these people have spending of 4,600 on non-discretionary items, or 54% of their total income is spent on non-discretionary. That means they must pay it or something will be turned off or taken away. Their discretionary expenses are 35% or 3,000 of their total income. But these people are bad. They actually spend 10.81% more than their income. They're spending on credit. That's $972 a month they're spending on credit. We need to get the green from the bottom to the top. How are we going to do that? We're going to have a look at the current spending report. Current spending report highlights what their current total monthly income is. It then shows you what their total monthly expenses are, including all of those expenses shown in envelopes. We go further down, you'll see here is a pie chart covering all of the expenses. And to the left here, we have the total income, we have the total expenses, and again, you can see the total negative funds available to this couple is 927 per month. So how are they going to fix this? You would think that with the problems these people have that they're going to be in deep trouble, and they are. In this particular scenario, we haven't changed a strategy. We've not selected a strategy. So this is their expenses of 53,000, 17,000 interest, total repayments of 70,000 over 98 months, or eight years. If we look at their mortgage, they've got 360,000 on a mortgage, uh, on 5% interest over 300 months or 25 years, and that total interest on that is 271,000, bringing the total amount they're going to pay to 631,000 over that period of time. However, without doing anything other than what money rules tells them to do, the order in which to pay off their debts, these people will actually be out of debt in 221 months or 18 years. They'll only pay 196, 197,000 of interest for a total amount of $560,000 rather than 631. That's a saving of $75,000 and nearly seven years. They haven't done anything other than follow the money rules program. Down here is the interest saved comparison, 271,000, they're only gonna pay 197,000. Over here, instead of over 25 years, they're just going to pay it out over 18 and a half years. Let's have a look how we can change this in one simple stroke. We're going to go to ex expenses. We're going to have a look at your debts. We're going to select a strategy and we're going to select highest interest first. Watch this. They're now no longer paying 17,000. They're going to pay nine and a half thousand over 39 months instead of 97 months and they're only going to pay 62,000 instead of 70,000. Let's have a look at the saving report. Saving report is showing the old way here and now the new way. Instead of 98 months, they're going to be paying in 39 months. They're going to be saving 7,600 in interest and they're going to be saving nearly five years, 60 months or nearly five years. That money is then going to roll over into the mortgage and instead of paying 271,000 over 25 years, they're now down to 180,000 over 18 years, which means they're saving nine, nearly 92,000 in interest rather than 75,000 previously. So they're saving 92,000 in interest and they're gonna be saving seven and a half years, but they can do better. Let's go and have a look at where they're spending their money.
So we wanted to get the green from the bottom to the top. How do we do that? We've got to find out where these people are spending money. If we look in the personal expenses, we'll see that they're spending $50 a week on alcoholic drinks. What if we cut that back to $50 fortnightly? So we'll edit that and make that fortnightly. Also spending $50 a week on clothing. What if we made that $50 a month? They're also spending $100 a week on cigarettes. How about if we change that to monthly? What else are they doing? They're spending $100 a week on takeaway food and restaurants. Let's say they do that once a month. And we've got green. Can they do better? Lunches, weekly, $50. Let's change that to zero. They now have $230 per month surplus. Let's see what that's done to the report. Go to the saving report. They're now down to 2.4 years in 29 months and they're saving nearly $8,500 and five and three quarter years. They've just increased this to be paid out in 121 months or 10 years paying only 100,000 in interest or a total of 462,000. They're saving $170,000 and they're saving nearly 15 years. How does that look on a yearly balance report? Well, after 10 years they would still owe 260,000 in their conventional mortgage payment, but they're down to zero. If we look at the comparison over a 25 year period, this is where they would have been. However, they're going to be out in 10 years. And for the future, they're going to be saving $1,600 in debts, $2,100 in mortgage, a total of $3,700 per month. If they take that $3,700 a month, which they would have been paying during this particular period, including the mortgage, all the way through, struggling to get nowhere. They would have nothing. However, they're going to be out of debt in 10 years, nearly 11 years. They're going to take that same amount of money that they would have paid over this period of time and they're going to invest it into a retirement fund. They could end up with $900,000. And even if they decided not to put it all into there, if they decided to put 1000 they would still end up with 242000 over this period of time. So money rules can be your secret weapon to eliminating your debt and creating your future wealth just on your current income.